The article Conditions of Blended Learning Implementation in Skavarada, Kharkiv National Pedagogical University, Experience of Physics and Mathematics Faculty, written by Alena Vulic, Oksana Zhernovnika, Nadia Alipirinka, Vitaly Masic, and Natalia Panamarova, is offered to your attention. The entire education system of Ukraine, in the realities of the COVID-19 pandemic, found itself in a situation of challenge for the immediate introduction of distance education. The organization of high-quality mass distance learning is a complex and multifactorial process. Despite the presence of large number of scientific studies in this sphere, they were not enough for its practical implementation. The purpose of the article is to establish the conditions of blended learning implementation in institutions of higher pedagogical education. In the experience of foreign countries, the organization of the educational process in universities on the basis of blended learning has been operating for a relatively long time. It should be noted that blended learning is the most effective method of teaching in education especially in higher education. Blended learning is a mixture of traditional face-to-face -face and online learning. So, learning takes place both in the classroom and online. In modern conditions, one of the best reasons for developing blended courses is that they ensure the viability of students who see not only the flexibility of distance learning courses, but also want to have some personal contact with teachers and other students in classroom. Blended learning transcends time, local and cultural barriers, and has created many enhances opportunities for students and faculty. Last year turned out to be a de facto crucial year for Skavarada Kharkiv National Pedagogical University for mastering and implementing distance and blended forms of education. Thus, in the spring semester of 2019-2020, at the Faculty of Physics and Mathematics, a number of events were carried out. Lectures and practical classes were deployed in full accordance to the schedule online. It was organized and you know, the implementation of laboratory works in virtual environment via online broadcasts and video recordings were performed. All introductory and reporting conferences on pedagogical practices were held online. The examination session took place and students of the final bachelor's course confidently passed the state certification. The creation of full-fledged distance course on the module learning management system accordance with the needs for the educational process has begun. At the same time, the participants of the educational process faced a number of objective and subjective difficulties. First of all, all employees had to master extremely quickly and at a high level only the latest digital competences, as well as essentially innovative approaches to creating new models of learning. Teachers of our faculty participate in online courses, webinars on relevant topics with their receipt of uh, certificates. We should especially note the online course on distance and blended learning formats for teachers and school leaders, projects of the Ministry of Education, the Science of Ukraine, uh, on the ADERA platform, online refresher courses, international trainings, and so on. During the period from April to November 2020, 19 employees of the faculty received 45 certificate of advanced training in the relevant field. The basis for the effective use of blended learning is the technological readiness of teachers, students, and educational institutions, as well as through methodological training of each discipline. Therefore, depending on the capability of all teachers and capabilities of students within different disciplines, teachers choose the model that the best help achieve learning results. According to the content of distance learning courses on the Moodle um, system should be developed to support blended learning. Educational material in various forms, the materials for testing and questioning for test exams, 
uh, are focused not on creating independent distance courses, but on supporting the combination of synchronic and asynchronic synchronous mode of work, online and offline forms teaching. As of December the 1st, 2020, a total of 159 courses of departments of the Faculty of Physics and Mathematics at different stages of the development are presented on the Moodle. The Scientific Mo Methodical Commission of the Faculty, with the participation of Dean's Office, audited the content of the distance courses according to the following criteria. Availability and quality of courses, summary, open summary of the course, work program, structure of course by topics, lectures, assignments for practical or laboratory work, references. The list of these audit criteria was discussed, established and approved by the Council of the Faculty. Uh, this, is, uh, this list correlates uh, with the list of the requirements uh, for distance learning courses proposed by the university management while taking into account the needs of the blended form of education. According to the result of the audit, we obtained data that showed significant changes in the content of the distance learning courses compared to the previous semester. The analysis of the obtained data became the basis for setting benchmarks for further qualitative improvement of distance learning courses. The audit was an impetus to intensify the work of teachers on the courses the growth of their professional skills. The following courses deserve special attention, which are complete and original, the creative approach of teachers to organization of distance learning. Pedagogy um, by Kalashnikova and Bayarska Khamenka, uh, second year, Faculty of Physics and Mathematics, 50 classroom hours. Object-oriented programming by Alifirinka, second year group, to I, 60 classroom hours. General physics and astronomy by Masic, third year group, 3M, 38 classroom hours. The near algebra by Prostakova, first year group, 1M, 60 hours, 60 classroom hours. In the addition of uh, blended Learning, it is important to ensure the implementation of all types of practices, pedagogical practices, general secondary education institution, in institutions of specialized secondary education, in higher education institutions, and scientific and pedagogical practice. The introduction of blended learning doesn't bypass the education work with students as an internal part of the educational process which is extremely important for the professional training of teachers to be. During the year, students of the Faculty of Physics and Mathematics not only achieved, actively participated in university-wide online events, but were also the initiators of some of them. Particularly popular were the projects Stay at Home, ISTA, online competition, a Stud Spring 2020, online fest, Home university do not stay different, keep fit, healthy lifestyle, and so on. Students' research activities take place online as part of the professional training of teachers to be. On November 24th and 25th, 2020, the Faculty of Physics and Mathematics hosted the 18th Scientific Methodical Conference of Higher Education Students, um, Naumovsky Readings, which worked in five sections mathematical studies theory and practice, history and comparative studies, innovative technologies in education practice, physics and cyber physics systems, educational pedagogical science. About 90 participants from 12 high education institutions of Ukraine took part in this conference. Analysis of the ex experience of the Faculty of Physics and Mathematics of Harkin National Pedagogical University showed that the conditions for the implementation of blended learning in institutions of higher pedagogical education are advanced training and appropriative training of teaching staff, building a model of blended learning as a start point, development of educational and methodical support 
of educational disciplines taking into account the requirements of blended learning. Coverage in blended learning of all elements of the educational process, providing participants of the education process with organizational, methodological, technical, and psychological support. Thank for your attention.